Alright, let's take a look at two of the more difficult absolute value problems. The first one says if the absolute value of 3x plus 6 equals 12 and the absolute value of negative 2y plus 8 equals 30, what is the smallest possible value of xy? And again, you can pause the video and you can attempt this on your own right now. I'm going to go into the explanation. So the first thing we have to do is we have to solve for x and we have to solve for y. So let's worry about the, uh, the x equation first. So let me rewrite it, and I'll do what I did when I showed you guys uh, in the fundamentals lesson. You're going to split it up, and you'll rewrite 3x plus 6 equals 12, and then you can write 3x plus 6 equals, ooh, that should be negative 12. Okay. So let's solve, minus 6, minus 6. 3x equals 6, we'll divide by 3, and we get x equals 2. Let's solve this one, minus 6, minus 6, so negative 12 minus 6, we get negative 18, that crosses out, 3x equals negative 18, divide by 3, and we get x equals negative 6. Okay, so we have two values for x here. Let's find our values for y. So I'll rewrite this one again, just so we have it. And we're going to split it up, like we did it for the other one. So negative 2y plus 8 equals 30. And then we're going to have negative 2y plus 8 equals negative 30. Okay, and we're going to solve for y. So let's minus the 8, minus the 8. So we get negative 2y equals 22. Okay, we divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. y equals negative 11. Let's solve for this one. Minus 8, minus 8. Negative 2y equals negative 38. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, and we get y is equal to 19. Okay, so now that we have all our, you know what, let me move this up just a smidge. Actually, you know what, I'll move it up like this so we have room. So hopefully you guys could have seen uh, those numbers on the bottom there. I think you can. So we have our values for x and y now, and it wants to know what is the smallest possible value of x, y. So if we want the smallest possible value, we've got to make it the, the most negative, okay? So how do we do that? Well, when we have a value of x of negative 6 and y of 19, okay? So that, that's going to give us the most negative. So let me just do that real quick. We have 19 times negative 6. Um, 54, so you should get negative 114, and that's going to be the answer to this one, because you can't get anything uh, less than that. Uh, 2 times negative 11 is just negative 22, and that's greater than that, uh, 2 times 19, so when x is negative 6, and when y is 19, that's going to be your smallest amount, okay? Let's try another one. Um, this one, it, I, it's it's a longer problem, so I had to it's I had to write a lot here. So let me zoom out, just so you can read the whole thing, and hopefully you can get all that. I hope that's not too small for you, but let me read that one, and we'll we'll attempt this one. So it says, admission into a secret society requires that the applicant be between the ages of 32 and 46. Which of the following inequalities can be used to determine whether an applicant's age D satisfies the requirements for the society. So we have to figure out what's our range here, what, what, uh, what values do we want. And it says the applicant has to be between 32 and 46. So what we want to get is, if I put D the age there, the age has to be less than 46, but it's got to be greater than 32. So that's our goal, that's kind of what we're looking for here. Okay, and I'll just uh, you know highlight that there. That's our goal. So now you may be saying to yourself, "Wow, it's going to take a long time to test all these choices." It's really not that bad. And just like before, when you do the positive and the negative versions of the number, you're going to do that for here 
and you're going to find that you don't you don't actually have to do all the work. For example, let's say we want to test A. Let's do A right here. So hopefully I have enough space. That's D minus 7 is less than 39. Okay. So let's do the positive one. That's D minus 7 less than 39. We add the 7, add the 7, and so far it looks good. We've got D is less than 46, so that part looks good. But well, look what happens when we do the negative one. D minus 7, we have to flip the sign, negative 39. When we add the 7, add the 7, we get D is greater than negative 32. Not what we want, right? Because D has to be greater than 32. So A is gone. Alright, let's try B. And uh, we'll probably have to make some more space here, but so B is D minus 39 greater than 7, so we'll do the positive distance. D minus 39 is greater than 7. When we add the 39, look what happens. We get D is greater than 46. Is that what we wanted though? No. We want D to be less than 46. The guy's age, or, or the girl's age, or whatever, the person going into the secret society has to be less than 46. So this is gone. And that's what I'm saying when you don't, you know, it may look like you have to do a lot of work, but you really don't because uh, you don't have to do every case. So this was wrong. So A was wrong, B was wrong. We can look at C, but I can tell you right away, C, if you just, you know, taking a look at it, you know you're going to get D is less than 46 minus 32, right? When you subtract that, so C is going to be wrong right off the bat. I wouldn't even try it. Let's take a look at D. And you know what, I'm just going to move this up for a second so we can try out D. So I'll write D here. And for D we have D minus 39 less than 7. And uh, I know I, I write the things over and over again. It's really just so you guys can see what's going on. But test day, you can you know you could do this a lot faster. So this is going to be D minus 39 less than 7. We'll add the 39. Add the 39. So for this one, we get D is less than 46. All right, looking pretty good. Let's try the other one. D minus 39. We have to flip the sign because we're doing the negative number. We'll add the 39, add the 39, and what do you know? D is greater than 32. So bingo, this is our answer. It should make sense, right? D is less than 46. The person's age has to be less than 46, and it's going to be greater than 32. And that's what we wanted right in the beginning, right? All right, so sorry this one got a little crammed, but when you get a question like this you just want to think about what range am I looking for and you can do all these problems here and you can kind of work them out to figure out which one of these is going to give you the range that you're looking for alright so I hope these two questions uh, the first one wasn't too bad the second one's probably a little bit harder but on the SAT uh, even if you look in the blue book there's not too many really really difficult uh, absolute value and inequality problems alright I'll see you guys in future lessons